Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TCEPS and Fast Films. I'd like to talk to you about how you install TCEPS 2.0 on both a Mac and a PC computer. You want to go to www.tceps.com or go to TBiz Network and go to the TCEPS link in TCEPS Home. If you scroll down, one of the links is Downloads. Click on that. This brings you to a downloads page that asks for various information, but all you have to fill out really is just your email address. That's required. And click on Take Me to Download page. Now when you're here, you have actually three versions of TCEPs. You have the Windows version that works on Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7, and works in Photoshop 6 to CS5 in both 32-bit and 64-bit mode. It gets a little harder on the Mac side. Apple is pretty much walking away from the PowerPC processor, so we have two installers for the Mac. One is for an Intel-based processor running Photoshop CS3 to CS5 in 32-bit mode for, for CS3 and CS4 and 32 and 64-bit mode for CS5. Now, this is a standard zip file when you download this because this file is fairly large. We have a second installer for Macs running a PowerPC processor. And if you're running Photoshop 6 all the way to CS4 on a PowerPC processor, this is the version you'll download. Now, the problem is if you're running an Intel-based processor and you're running on Photoshop, earlier versions of Photoshop before CS3, then you're going to have to run the PowerPC installer and run Photoshop in Rosetta mode. You'll also find it helpful to download the manual actually before you download the program. The program comes with the manuals in five languages but because they're in the program and you need to maybe read about installing it. If you download the manual separately, it does have a great installation section. Now basically you click on the icon here for download. I'm going to download the Windows version. And that just pretty much says you're going to download an exe file, and it says save file. Now, you may have your computer set to automatically save the file to a download folder. Make sure you know where to find that. I have my computer set to ask me where to save it. And typically, I'll save it to a folder called downloads. For Macintosh, if you click on the download now for the Intel-based processor, this is a typical Mac installer, but this file is fairly large, so it's been zipped up, so you'll have to unzip it once you download it. The PowerPC version is not quite as big, and this, again, is a typical Mac installer, and you know it's the PowerPC version because it has PPC in the name, and you'll save this to your hard disk so you can run the installer after you've downloaded the program. Once the download is complete, you have a Mac or a PC file. I'm doing the video on a PC computer on Windows 7 and this is an executable file. Again on the Mac it's a typical Mac installer and they both install the same way. So we will double click on the installer and you get a license agreement. Say yes to that. Now, depending on if you've installed a TCEPS trial before, you may get a window that says you need to install the interlock drivers. If you've installed a trial before, this may not come up. But if you're new to the program, you may get a window that says you need to install the interlock drivers. Interlock is the program that we use to secure TCEPS. And so just to prove this, now, it will give you a note that you should restart your computer. If you have other programs open and running, then you would say no to this and then close out the other programs or restart at your convenience. But before you run TCEPS, you'll need to restart your computer. And that's all there is to running the installation routine. It's very simple and painless. Now, the installation routine puts all the drivers in the right place and makes a new folder on your hard disk called TCEPS. On the Mac, it's on the Mac hard disk and it's called TCEPS with no dash. On a PC, it's on your C drive called TCEPS. In that folder are various additional folders. One is called Actions. And the Actions folder contains a variety of files. Depending on your version of TCEPS, there may be more or less files in this folder. If you see files that have CS in them, that is for the Macintosh version that is designed for the PowerPC and for versions CS, CS2, and earlier. If you see files with no CS in them, those are the regular actions that you will load. These are called actions, and you can see that they're in German, French, Spanish, 
Portuguese, and English. You'll also see the various plugins, and again, depending on if you're on Mac or PC, you may see more or less files that are called TCEPs and TCEPs Custom Index. So there's also a folder for the distressed routines, and TCEPs calls these folders and these files when it runs routines. There's also a folder for the ink values for various ink brands. There's also a folder for the interlock drivers. There's a license folder. There's also a folder for the manuals in the five languages. These are PDF files. You should open the manual of your choice and actually print it out to an inkjet printer in color. And there's a folder of samples. This gives you a few sample files, some that are just JPEG files, some that are built in layers in Photoshop. There's also README files that give you the latest information about the program, and there's registration marks. And again, TCEPs calls these up when it runs the registration mark routine.